like the Brits for computer games, and it is a multi-billion pound industry, ladies and gentlemen. Now, believe it or not, here in the UK, there is a games console in every other home, which is good news for the games industry, the people who play them, and, of course, burglars. <laughs> Celebrities play them, sports stars play them, politicians even play them. If you don't believe me, have a look at this lot. England goalkeeper David James, Johnny Vegas there. Don't be too excited about that. <laughs> And there is Drew McDonald, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> They're all here, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the awards tonight, as you can see, just there. They're playing the games as well. Now, this might be the first Game Stars, but these awards are incredibly sought after. And I can give you a little sneaky peek of one now. Would you like that? Yeah. Here we go, then. And someone's nicked it. <laughs> is it the award? Excuse me, love, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Start the music. Oh, God. Nice guns. Now, <laughs> these are the awards, ladies and gentlemen. These are the awards, and there are nine of them, and each one has been voted by you, the gaming public. You've chosen for your favourite hero game, you've chosen for your favourite action game, sporting game, and other categories. And all these winners will be vying for the coveted BAFTA Game of Game Award, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. OK, it's a massive event, it's a glamorous event, and let's face it, it's an expensive event, so I know what you're thinking. Why have they left him in charge? Well, I was thinking that too. They haven't, so help me, would you please welcome to find the UK's greatest gamer, the lovely Sarah Kayward! <laughs> Yes, okay. the search has been on up and down the country in the hunt for the UK's greatest gamer. Some teenage boys I met spent so long on their games they had calluses on their hands. <laughs> that was their excuse. We'll find out who is the greatest gamer later on because here tonight we've got the very best nine from around the country and they'll be up against each other in competition conditions. Okay, but before that, if you like Grand for Rosbell, you'll love this. Lose control, Ash! <laughs>
on every bend, then. Yeah. At the point of that music, you've been on every bend, then you're going like that. Yeah, it's now, it's now, faster. Oh, I'm crapped again. <laughs> uh, now, the voting for tonight's awards has been going on for six weeks now, and uh, we should say a big thank you to for all those people who have voted, and an even bigger thank you to everyone who voted more than once. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> and you know who you are. Voting wasn't the only way to get an award here. The search has been on for Britain's most talented and versatile games player. This is the story so far. We've spent the last four weeks travelling the country. We went to nine cities and saw over 12,000 people who all played a selection from 12 games. I'm gonna go for it. Thumbs at the ready. Let the hunt for the UK's greatest gamer begin. Hi, welcome to GameStars. Can I take your details? The competition's really good, it's really exciting. To find the UK's greatest gamer, we have to have the random factor. We have to be able to test people's dexterity at general forms of gaming. So it be a driving game, an action game, a fighting game. We don't want people to come down and simply play the games that they're good at. That doesn't achieve anything. My sports games let me down. I'm quite pleased considering I've never played any of these games ever before. I ended up with a dance mat and I've got two left feet. I've really enjoyed the dancing game. My favourite game is a dance mat. With the dance mat, I just went for socks. Stocking. I had my socks on. Socks, definitely. I'm very much a trainer, man. Barefoot. I'm pretty good at the beat-em-ups. Skateboarding game. Tony Hawk's. Yeah, oh, I'm good at that one. We take their three scores, put them into the Game Stars database, and individuals get their Game Stars score. Girls act better than boys with computer games. Girls have the potential to be as good as boys. They're all girly. They're the team supreme, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend's a big games player. Probably one of the best games player I know, actually. The first thing I did before I came into the hall today was I was twitching my thumbs and fingers like <laughs> Relax the fingers. Competition today is really heavy. You think you're good at a game and then someone else will come along and just show you how good you really are. I think my chances are um, very slim. No chance of going anywhere. I could have done better. That didn't come to that wow. I'm just going to go home now. We've had all age groups, all types of people who want to come along and test themselves. I think I'm amongst the greatest gamers there are in the country. I'm seven and I want to be a country's greatest gamer. I think we're only going to get old people playing games when my generation's grown up a bit. I'll give any of these teenagers a run for the money. It's important to be the country's greatest gamers, as it is to win the lottery. It's about time that the UK got some people to represent itself. We'll be known as a good gamer. It's really important to me because it's something that I really enjoy. Give me a chance to prove to all my friends who is the greatest. Yes! I will win the competition. I think I could win, yeah. I think I might have a good chance. Pretty good after the way I played today. I'm not going to be too confident. I've got a really good chance of winning. The greatest gamer in each of the cities that we've visited goes towards the Game Stars final. I think I am going to win, but I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's kick off with a big award. Sports games get more realistic every day. It used to be only on computers that England football team would get thrashed by Australia. Not anymore, mate. <laughs> to present the award for the best sports game, a man who once gave away his own games machine to needy children, proving his heart is bigger than his liver. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Vegas! <laughs> Pleased you you got dressed up. I know. I know. Mean, <laughs> who, like, who says that playing games makes your life kind of drift away and <laughs> nothing else matters? Being here tonight shows that I can compete with the best of them. It's like a shirt and tie, but it's ironed in. And it's a pattern. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you um, bit, Sandy? <laughs> I would like to say uh, beforehand that. Um, it's so nice to see you all out here together because it's a lonely life. <laughs> and who knows, with enough wine at the end of tonight, one or two of you might breathe. <laughs> and we may end up with a super programmer who, 
and sweep the boards and we can all just sit back in awe and go, why don't I meet anyone in your life? Because you still live with your parents. But <laughs> that was the best damn platform game I ever saw. <laughs> I guess the nominations are... <laughs> It's the fourth outing for extreme skateboarder Tony Birdman Hawk. Without a time limit, players are free to roam around the new levels, practicing their tricks and completing the goals. Build combos, earn respect, and show what it takes to go pro. Players can choose 14 real life master skaters or create their own. With more tricks, flips, jumps and stunts and some virtual cuts and bruises, you preferred to bail out from the safety of your sofa. Thanks to the Game Stars team, we have put it all together. Yes, you can win all those games, every single one of them. The best driving game, the best adventure game, the whole lot could all be yours. All you have to do is answer this simple question. Which one of these was an early computer game? Was it A, Bong, B, Pong, or was it C, Gong? Now, if you think you know that, all you've got to do is call this number, 090-11-284-384. Calls will cost you 25p a minute, a little bit more on a mobile, and I'm afraid you've got to be 18 or over to enter that. Not my fault, or if you want, get your mum to do it. And we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the show. Well, already we have to take a break, I'm afraid, so for the next few minutes, the only buttons you should be pushing are on your phone. Stay with us to find out which is the best arcade game, the best driving game, and the best player in this country. See you soon. Pause. Infiltrate, eliminate, to ensure our freedom is protected. He is counterterrorism's silent solution. He is a Splinter Cell. The definitive espionage experience. Now on PlayStation 2. Splinter Cell.